Hello, I am Jay Kumar of eastrovedika.com. In this video, we will talk about yoga and astrology. Well, Einstein's greatest moment of time was when he stumbled across time as the fourth dimension. Another physicist, Hermann Minowski, described the universe as a four-dimensional space-time continuum made up of the three dimensions of space and the fourth dimension of time. The science of time astrology is a sister science of yoga and can be of immense help in the path divine. The grace of Saturn Moksha Karaka and Jupiter Jnana Karaka is needed for liberation or self-actualization. Jupiter the divine planet represents yoga. Astrology is only a subsidiary science of yoga, a main science. Astrology works as an aid to yoga because it can show the barriers which confront the seeker of truth. Now the path of self-actualization is difficult with a lot of barriers, impediments, obstacles and the inner enemies. The wisdom of the heavens can pinpoint the major enemy the aspirant has to confront and overcome that enemy's vicious attacks. Mars rules anger, Venus lust, etc. And by knowing the adverse planet's influence, the corresponding emotions can be controlled by yoga and meditation. Overcoming the inner enemies is the main theme of yoga. But we have to know that we who are our dominant inner enemies. When Mars is afflicted in a horoscope, it is clear that the navy is, native is struggling against anger. If Saturn is afflicted, it is clear that the native is fighting pride. If Venus, the horoscopian, is battling with lust. By these great arts, yoga and astrology, these inner enemies can be controlled and conquered. How could the deadly sins ever be found ugly in the least degree, says Goethe.